What's up YouTube, it's Louis here, I hope you're all well. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are uh, in the world. Um, yeah, not much to say guys, I'm saying this every day. But again, we're just waiting for this to either become an M or to validate this old M or to validate this old W because you're beyond the, t the, the patterns now. So uh, as you can see here, we came up, came back down, you formed your neckline of an M and you came back down to the neckline to validate it but you never validated we never had this push to meet this target and so because of that you rejected the neckline meaning that you don't want to go below so that means if we're not bearish we're bullish so we should go to the top and we should actually start to form this w pattern and break out back test this neckline and meet the target unfortunately guys that's not what happened we've just continued this ranging and we're back down here so even though this was the m and we wanted it to break down here if it were to break down here, you would still meet the M patterns target. Equally, if we go up now and uh, we had that W over here, potential, because it never happened. You never came back up to the neckline, but it doesn't matter. That is your neckline. You have one bottom here. You have a second bottom here. And if at any moment in the future, you ever break above this line in the future, doesn't matter, we could carry on in this. But eventually, once you break out and you back test that line in the future, you would meet the technical target of the W pattern. Now, I've given in the last few videos, but if, you're, uh, if you've forgotten, here's the bearish one. Break below 62 and we're going to 53. Break above 75 and we're going to 88 or 89. Simple as that and we're just simply waiting. Now, of course, on the Bitcoin chart, it's the same thing and uh, we can't say we are 100% going down we can't say we are 100% going up we just need to react guys and yeah I hope I've been get been able to yeah really get this in your heads over these last few weeks months how we really just reactors rather than trying to predict of course we predict both ways but there you go we're preparing for both directions we're not biased we don't just want it going down we don't just want it go up, going up as a long-term investors we know it will go up but day to day in the short term this is why we have to stay unbiased because no one knows where it's going today or tomorrow there's obviously clues as in chart patterns candlestick patterns the emas the fibonacci's there's certain criteria for all of them and if they're meeting them then yeah there's higher probability it's going to go one way or the other or once we tie all these confirmations or confluences together basically and so that is how we gain an advantage on this market so i'm going to use the fibs now so just prepare you if we lose this low yes we have a target for the m pattern but i want to also use the fibs and you've noticed how i'm starting the fibs from here and i'm going to say once you lose the one fib level however if i get rid of the fibs what did i say about the m pattern this is the support and this is the neckline so if you actually close below this then we're going down whereas for the fibs it's losing the wick and this might get confusing guys and this is the main reason why I don't like lines. I like using boxes of support and resistance instead. This is the, yeah, that was a great explanation of why we use an area of support rather than a specific line. The specific point is that, okay, once we lose that, I know the M pattern is valid, but to validate this 1618 target, I need to lose the one fib level. What is so interesting as well, our M patterns target over here, you can see our M patterns target is the 1618, which is interesting because if we were to lose this one fib level, our target is the 1618. So a nice area or two things acting as confluence basically. Now it does not mean that's the final target. Apologies for the car alarm. I have no idea whose that is, but um, definitely not my car. But, <laughs> but yeah, if we come back up to the one fib level, we need to reclaim it to stop further downside to invalidate the possibility of going to these lower targets to stop going lower so 44 43 which we've previously discussed on the channel we need to reclaim 61 dollars and that's once you actually lose it and that's if you lose it because we haven't lost the one fib, fib level yet there's no reason to believe we are going to meet this target until you lose the support once you lose the support yes we're going there but we might not go, go all the way and I'll explain this now. So even though we have two targets, this M pattern, which again, we're forming a different pattern now, but if you were ever to lose that, then yeah, you validate that old pattern. It doesn't look like the M anymore. This was the M. It should have broke down there. It's not the M no longer. You're 
potentially even forming a W over here right now. We don't know. But I'm just saying if you do lose this support, you validate that old pattern. It's the same with this resistance. This was the W, but it looks like it could be forming a new W. It doesn't matter. Once we break that resistance, you validate that old pattern's target. It's as simple as that, guys. And that's why we keep saying validations, invalidations on the channel. Just like when we lose this, we're meant to go down to here and to the M pattern's target. Well, we've explained multiple chan uh, multiple channels, multiple times on the channel over the last six, seven, eight months that you could just hit the 1.272, reclaim the one fib level, hold that as support, and you would not go down to here. So even though you went below this and your target and you have two targets down to here does not mean 100% we're going to hit that target. And yeah, I hope that's got, I've got that into your guys' head and I hope you guys appreciate me trying to every single day uh, yeah, get these things stuck in your head so you don't make the same mistakes as I once used to a few years back. So if you appreciate that, please like, please subscribe and share the videos out to the people you know. We are getting less and less and less views now and less comments and less likes. Of course, it's obvious because crypto is down, less people interested. But the people that are still here and the people that are new to the channel, I want to see you engaging with the channel in the comments down below. It's nice to see some new faces and to engage with yeah, people that I don't even know that are following me and watching me. I'd love to see these new faces because I keep seeing the subscribers slowly going up. But yeah, I don't know who these people are. I've got 2,600 of you watching now. That is insane. I never thought I'd be able to be there. And imagine where we're going to be at the end of this year once we are finally bullish. We've got these 2.6K subs while the market is going down. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. It means we've been accurate enough to call all these dumps, to call all its targets, people seeing it and subscribing and believing in it. So thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. It really does motivate me. If you wanna help out the channel, then we have the super thanks down below as well as the membership, some new memberships. Go check them out. Thank you guys so much. Please like, subscribe and comment and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.